Hey, it's your man Bonte 3 for Successful Comics. And today, I'm gonna show y'all how to make an insulated dog house for your dogs. And I'm in the Midwest. I don't know where you at, but this can also help you in high climates, super cold climates, or medium climates. But either way it go, show you how to make an insulated dog house for your pet, your beloved dog. You got one dog, you got many dogs. This is definitely a good thing to do so your dogs can stay outside and have fun and have a place to retreat to to get away from the cold weather or the elements. As we see, we have your typical dog house. Go in, you know what I'm saying? Open to the elements. Now, as we see right here, you have your insulated dog house. Get down. See you know what I'm saying? Get down. Top can slide off where you can go inside. See you know what I'm saying? And you can clean it. So we're in the cold Minnesota weather. We're in Minnesota at this particular time. And I'm gonna speak loud because I got the space heater blowing because otherwise it will be freezing in here. But, all right, now you need simple tools for this. First, you're gonna need, and I got a portable. You're gonna need a circular saw. Circular saw. You're gonna need a drill. Portable too. You can use corded, corded stuff too. It don't have to be portable. You're gonna need two four by eight pieces of plywood. You can use solid plywood or you can use the OSB. It doesn't matter. However you wanna make your dog house, that's how you make it. And you're gonna need some two by fours, which I got pieces of two by fours, but you're gonna need, uh, let me see. And I'm going to leave the uh, plants, too. So you're going to need, I said, the two uh, pieces of four by eight plywood, four foot by eight plywood. And you're going to need four two by fours because you're going to have to cut them, cut them down. So now I pretty much, come over here. I pretty much cut, pre-cut all the wood. And what I did, I put the sizes on here so I know which sizes to connect. So you got to cut them. You got to cut them into certain sizes. And then you got to have enough for the roof, the insides with the two by fours and all that. So I pre-cut the wood. I got enough wood cut for two dog houses, which I got to make two dog houses. But like I said, I'm gonna show you how to make one and we're about to put these pieces together. So I need eight, I need eight two by fours that's cut 24 inches long. So I got one. So now this is how I do it. Take this, and this is called a square too. You can use this if you, if you want to. Put that, put it on 24. And I use a square to make my line. Now, now I have to cut it. So now I'm gonna cut eight of them. Well, seven, cause I got one. Walls, the outside walls, two 
by fours. Just putting a few screws in there to make sure it's steady. And then down here, um, get two screws right there because that's the opening. So now, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip it over so I can nail the bottom to the four walls so it can be solid and then I'll flip it back over and then I'll start building the insides and working my way around. But I gotta screw the bottom to the, the four walls. As far as the inside goes, I got my three 24 by 24 inch walls. And these will be the inner walls. So I got one here, one there, and then one there. And they're gonna go, and then I'm gonna put another two by four right here. And I'll put another one on that side and get ready for the wall that'll go across. But for right now, I gotta put my three 24 inch walls up. So now we have the inner walls pretty much in place. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, two by fours so far. So now we're gonna put that other wall that goes across. We have to put that in. put that piece on there because I had to cut it off to make the cutout. So as you see, it's coming along. Got the four walls. Now we got to put our two by fours right here. y'all we're pretty much done we just got to do the top the four sides and you just gotta tweak it a little bit for the little parts like like i said at the bottom so you got that little gap right there i gotta tweak the doorways and all that but i'm gonna put i'm gonna put a little strip right here too to go down like I did over there on the inside. Just so it don't make the little door line on the outside too. Hey, so there you have it. We got an insulated doghouse made uh, with a top, nice and solid. You fill it with straw and you'll be good for the winter, for your dogs to stay out in the cold weather, for your for those of you who got dogs that stay out all the time or 
even people that just want to let their dogs out. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm going to have the plans in, the, in this video too. You can make this yourself. Or, hey, I can make it for you and charge you. Choice is yours. But there you have it. So here's the first one that I was making with the edge around the doorway. It looks better with the top on it. But I went to the store and I forgot to get the wood glue. But here's the basics of it. Insulated. Dogs go in. Then they go around the corner. This area will be filled with straw. If it's really cold, you can stick insulation in here in the sides, which you can remove in the summertime. And here's the second one that I made a little bit better. This is with the top on. See, I put the wood around the edges. One, it keeps the top from sliding off. Two, keeps the draft from going in there. And I got a board over here to keep it from sliding off. And again. Take the top off. Bam, instant access to the inside, clean. Again, the double walls, so you can uh, clean them out, put new straw in, take the old straw out, now fill this area, and then the top comes off and goes back on. And then like I put those borders around there to keep the top from sliding, whether your dog chain or whatever you got them tied to, or if they just run around. But sometimes some dogs like to jump on the top and it makes the top slide, that way it'll be more sturdy.